All right, guys, the official prizes here for the Hunt First Edition on Roblox have released, and uh, they are going to be available to get here on Friday, and we're going to show these to you. This one I'm going to start off with because this one is special. This one looks really cool, and if you look in the description here, it says these headphones. Oh, well, that's a funny story. I was hanging out with this video star, so it looks like in order to get these ones, you have to meet up in a game, probably the hub, with a video star, and yes, I am in the video star program, and yes, I'm going to do my best to try to hand out as many of these as possible many of you guys probably remember back in 2018 and beyond basically whenever there was launchers for pizza events or whatever whenever there was an opportunity to give you guys free items i was always on it and trying to hook you guys up i bet you guys probably got some sort of item launched for me if you guys are uh og here in roblox you've probably gotten at least one item from me maybe it was the metaverse valk maybe it was like the star egg in 2018 or 2019 uh maybe it was during a pizza party and it was something like that but either way uh this is another one of these and it's looking like it's going to be able to be something that we can give away if we are video stars so i'm really looking forward to that and giving some of these away to you guys so the vault star headphones is what they look like when you wear them look pretty cool probably yeah I, you might want to wear some hair with them but anyways they still look pretty awesome and it's going to be free and i'm going to try to give you guys as many of these as possible some of these also have really cool effects that we'll show you uh this next one right here the vault holo compass so the holo compass right here six dimensional orienting uh is more of an art than a science but you still wouldn't want to go wandering in the infinite without one of these so anyways this is going to be something that you can acquire during the hunt looks like a pretty simple straightforward item little necklace that you can get right there uh yeah this is, this is uh me wearing it again uh this one right here the staff of the vault explorer it looks like a pretty cool little back staff so you guys can see there are some of these that are uh earned the that are blue and then some of them that are gold we'll talk about exactly how to do that uh we've kind of talked about it before you guys probably already know but yeah yeah, I'm not sure about it, but we'll, we'll, we'll see. Uh, Staff of the Vault Explorer this is what it looks like on your back. It looks like it's, you know, probably just the position that my avatar is in that makes it look weird. Uh, that would make sense. Uh, next one right here, the Vault Explorer's Wings is the next item that we can get. We're going to go over the blue ones first, and then we're going to go over the gold ones. And this one says your nonstop flight to the Infinite Vault is now boarding. So uh, right here, these are pretty cool. Also, when you wear these... Uh, you guys have a really cool little uh, particle effect thing on the back of these wings. So yeah, this is one of the items that have particle effects. There's crowns and there's wings that are gold and blue, and all of those have really cool particle effects, and we'll show you those as well. Uh, so yeah, these Vault Explorer's wings, not a bad item with the uh, particle effects. This one right here, the Vault Explorer's cowl, looks really cool. It's like a hood. Uh, people love hoods here on Roblox. And this is something I guess you could wear if you're an explorer to wear to keep a low profile. So you're going to see people running around in Roblox on all these items here really soon. It's going to be awesome. Uh, this is what it looks like when you wear it. It looks all right. Kind of, you know, it doesn't quite. It's a little close for my uh, glasses that I'm wearing. So you're going to have to wear something else maybe to cover your eyes. Maybe a ninja thing that, that exists to cover your eyes. Either way, it's pretty cool. It's a hood item. The Vault Explorer's Cowl. So the next one right here, the Vault Explorer's Crown. So this is is your crowning achievement i'm guessing the wings and this one are going to be the last ones that we're going to earn just because they've got really cool particle effects uh you guys can see right here the vault explorer's crown it does when you wear it have really cool particle effects on the side you can see like little horns like you've got these little uh bull horns that kind of go off to the side and it's kind of an interesting little particle effect something i didn't expect to see when trying this one on but it is actually pretty cool um so yeah the next one that we're going to look at here the infinite holo pennant so now we're going to be looking at the uh basically there's the vault explorers version of things and then there's the infinite version of these things and the infinite version is the gold versions so this is basically the gold path uh this is the pennant which is the gold version uh you guys can see it's pretty big not not bad it's pretty decent size so uh it's some, some pretty heavy bling that you'd be wearing right there uh next one right here the infinite holo scepter so this is a scepter another back item um looks pretty cool looks like we got a floating little uh, gem right there wield the power of the infinite so that's what we're going for next thing looking at this on our back i guess the way i'm wearing it it sort of just wants to stab me in the leg but yeah hopefully you guys aren't you know wearing it in a way that makes it stab you in the leg uh hopefully if it's on just just right for you guys uh it's kind of a weird position uh this one right here the infinite hunter's wings this looks really really cool guys 
really really neat looking wings here uh i like the floating diamonds that are in there and i've seen some videos that they might actually like be moving and like there might be motion going on but of course when you wear them they do have a bunch of sparkly glitter particle effects all of the sparkly glitter that you could ever think of is right there in these wings so they've got particle effects as well so we like we like the bling for explorers who prefer a little more bling with their wings you definitely got that in this item right here the next item here that we're looking at is the infinite hunter's hood so again it's another hood for people who want to keep it on the low profile but i don't know it doesn't really have much stealthiness yeah it's it makes up for that in opulence though so yeah this one when you wear it also looks really nice doesn't over doesn't cover over my glasses the way the other one did so i think this one actually fits a bit better than the other one it's and i like the jewels so this is actually a really cool looking thing and then of course with so many of these things matching you wear them all at the same time everybody knows that you've gotten all these items and they all look really cool and they match together uh next one right here also the infinite hunter's crown we've got another crown and this crown also has really cool horn particle effects that come out the side so these ones look a little bit different like little uh fireballs that are just kind of shooting out the side into a sharp horn at the end nice nice looking item i don't know uh again in order to get these it sounds like you're gonna have to pay some robux and make sure you've got like the right stuff but uh yeah it's a little bit oversized if you if you look at it it's pretty big so i don't know they may resize these but maybe that's what they went for they want it to be huge they want it to sit above your head and they want it to be very very obvious for people when they're looking at it uh some of these actually look pretty cool with these wings that i'm wearing they've got the same little diamond thing oh that's very interesting right there so uh yeah moving on we've got this a couple easy items that are not super exciting that we're going to show as well this item right here the first edition hunt pen so it's just a little pin that you guys could wear to kind of commemorate the event and it says shout it to the forums i guess first so shout it to the forums i guess uh but anyways this is something you're going to be able to obtain i'm guessing it's not going to be very difficult to do um this is what it looks like when you're wearing it. it just says the hunt first edition so a nice little collectible thing to just show everybody that you were here in roblox during the time of the first edition of the hunt and then of course there is a t-shirt that you guys can get as well so uh again this is probably being really easy to get so the infinite uh, vault contains a multitude of commemorative t-shirts so you're probably gonna be able to go there and just like purchase it or get it for free the first time you go into the vault but hey it's a free t-shirt we like free of course people are still talking about eggs and we have seen some eggs pop up in the uh in the catalog and some of those seem like maybe there's a whole bunch of them that might be official my theory is that these prizes that we just showed you are the main prizes from the hub and that any of these uh games that want to participate in the event they can also add their own little egg ugc and are probably encouraged to do so and probably maybe we're even offered a discount to try to get some of them on there to try to make this more of an egg hunt so that might be some of the last minute stuff that they were talking about now, as far as getting the gold items, it looks like right here it says, I walk the path of glory. Those that wield the power of the Death Walker will unlock a glorious bounty in the hunt. So there's a, a hint right there that we saw from Roblox. We also see here on their event page, it's got this thing and it looks like a seasonal thing. They've got the blue on the bottom. They've got the gold on the top. I'm guessing in order to get the pathway to the gold stuff and earn the gold stuff, I think maybe you're going to have to own the Core Blocks Death Walker uh, avatar like this bundle and it's 29,000 robux uh i hope that's not really the case but it's looking right now that that is going to be the case that in order to get the gold stuff all these really cool gold items you have to go through the same process to get the blue items but then if you actually have this avatar bundle uh, or you actually go in there in the hub and claim it with the avatar bundle then you can get this uh it looks like there's also a possibility to spend robux here for the gold track to unlock it so either way maybe you can unlock those individually with robux for each one or you can spend robux to unlock all of them with the core blocks death speaker i don't know the exact details of that but it sounds like yeah it says right here full of rare and elusive items and then they've got the death speaker there so i'm thinking the gold stuff is going to be for people who want to spend twenty nine thousand robux to get those as well so uh anyways the blue stuff again probably free but now we know exactly what we're getting guys so uh yeah if you guys are new here make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell and thank you for watching we'll talk to you guys later